and good morning. It's day two. And look, Mom, no hands. They're on the wheel instead of the phone. So I can be legal like and everything. Now, a little shout out here. Uh, we changed the name. Like, what you talking about, George? It is day two of the 60 day hot new job challenge. You say, George, you got fired already? No, not hardly. I had the best day at work <clears throat> in like ever yesterday. I mean, it's not often and you get the keys to like about, I don't know, man. How many, it's, it's a couple hundred cars on that one lot alone. And I'm thankful to God they trust me with them, but that's not why I'm making this video. <laughs> I want to say good morning to you and a special shout out to my friend Jenny Banks and Holly's friend from Elkton, Virginia. Uh, she helped me and because of her encouragement in response to yesterday's video, I'm changing it uh, and I, I, I trust I'm led of the Lord and all this and I believe it be pleased. It is now the 60 day prayer challenge, 60 days. Now today is day two and I want to say thank you to so many of you already. Uh, that responded uh, b uh, below the video or via a uh, Facebook message and let me know how my family and I can be praying for you. You never know what burdens people are facing until you ask. I learned from my pastor, Clarence Sexton, here at the Temple Baptist Church, who uh, is standing in the way of prayer himself this morning. He's up in Cincinnati, uh, I believe General Hospital, but it's a hospital in Cincinnati. They tried to find out what's wrong uh, in his body, and it's been several months. And uh, our church has been uh, praying uh, morning and evening and every Monday uh, for him and the, for the specialists that are treating him. And if God doesn't show them, uh, they'll, they'll not find out. So he's standing in the need of prayer. And several of you who reached out to me personally, uh, obviously confidentially, and shared your prayer request with me, um, I'm so glad that we can pray for you. Jenny, again, shout out to you and thank you, Madam Banks, for uh, appropriately telling me that you would join us in the 60-day prayer challenge. Because, you know, not everybody's praying about a new job uh, that they're starting. Uh, some of you are uh, in need of creative ways to uh, either grow your business or maybe like me, uh, you may be going back to work for someone else, help them in their business. Uh, other folks have health issues, concerns, lost loved ones. Uh, some of you need to sell a car or two or three like me. You know, we all have different needs. But if you know the Lord Jesus, that's the beauty of prayer. He already knows. And oftentimes he's waiting in heaven just for you to ask so that you can receive. And he's waiting for you to often intercede on behalf of others like my good friend Ben. Uh, I believe today uh, he shared on his Facebook 11 o'clock, I'm assuming California, which is like 1 o'clock Eastern, uh, he's having another radiation treatment and uh, uh, on the brain cancer uh, that they're dealing with, trying to make sure that doesn't recur, etc. And he's got neuropathy. He shared all that publicly on his Facebook. And uh, hey, he's asking folks to pray every day that these treatments will be effective, that he will be able to deal with his neuropathy. It's very difficult, but he's still preaching albeit he's sitting down, still baptizing people but with some help in the baptistry. And, you know, you don't do that in the flesh or without the prayers of a loving family and many, many others and God helping you up and answering those prayers. So, look, day two, super excited. I'm going to keep this to less than five minutes. I'm going to learn that 60-second rule. But it's hard when there's so much in you for it not to come up, uh, you know, out your mouth, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. So appreciate you praying for uh, us. But again, most importantly, if you haven't already reached out to me via text message at 865-679-8173 or via Facebook Messenger, if you're watching this post here, or uh, I know you can comment on YouTube too, because uh, I'm trying to put these on YouTube as well, uh, just like I do for work, YouTube and Facebook videos and stuff like that. Uh, or you can just call me. Hey, you know, some folk hate uh, uh, the computer and the phone as much as us old people do. So you can call a brother. Now, if I'm with a customer or something like that, training, working, leave a voicemail. And uh, I'll listen to it and share it like I did this morning with my dear wife and with my family. And uh, 
man, I'm just excited to see in this 60-day prayer challenge, which, hey, a little shout out to my boy, David Thompson, Mr. 21-year-old, working on the job still for Regal Painting. I trust you're doing a great job for Ken and everybody there today. Uh, I'll challenge you. Uh, you know, you, uh, my mama, God bless her soul, she had that ALS. Remember that? That Lou Gehrig's disease and folks were doing that uh, ice bucket challenge. Well, look, I, 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 you know, that takes some boldness to put cold water on top of your head and, and challenge other people to do it. But look, I'll just throw it down to you, David, and to anybody else that's watching to just simply pray daily, not just for yourself, but pray for the needs of others and, and, uh, and get up in their business and find out what you can pray for and do it for 60 days. Today's day two, so I challenge you, if you'll, jo if you'll join me in this challenge to pray for 60 days, hey, jump right in and uh, feel free to share with me or with other folks uh, that you're doing it. And uh, this ain't some uh, beguiled effort to go viral online and blah, blah, no. Hey, man, well, can you think of anything else more important in perilous times like this uh, to do than pray? Yeah, neither can I. So, that being said, I'm going to sign off. And uh, i I'll talk to you more later today. In, uh, and I uh, appreciate your prayers for me. Remember my, my three little requests. Number one, that I'll be able to help as many people as possible to find a great car at a very affordable price. Number one. Number two, that I will be able to earn as much income as possible. And the, the number three is connected to number two because number three, I gotta keep these hands on the wheel, number three is that we want to use that income to pay off em and selling everything else that ain't bolt to town. Um, use that income and the sale of what we have to pay every dime in debt off completely so that in God's good timing, we can return, whether online or in person, to Crown College of the Bible and do God's will. But we're trying to do it right now at the same time. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to hearing how I can pray for you. And uh, see you later now. Bye.